How's it going everybody, Ben from Basic Mew here. And Mew's my favorite Pokemon. I think you should know that by now, if the name wasn't any indication itself. But I've always wondered, out of the over 50 Mew cards currently available in the TCG, which one of these would be considered the rarest Mew card? Now, for the sake of this video, I did actually look at mostly promo cards, since we can exclude cards from like Darkness Ablaze, which there are probably hundreds of thousands if not millions of copies out there, so this should not be considered or would not be considered a rare card by any means. There are a few cards that you can pull from a normal set in this list right here though, like for example the Mew Gold Star, but for the most part it is mostly, mostly promos. I did also have to mention, I'm not going to look at BGS Black Labels or CGC Perfect Tens at all, since that would completely throw off the balance. As an example, this Mew card right here, the Wizards of the Coast's Black Star promo, a card that has been printed into absolute oblivion, there are so many copies of this card out here. And just hypothetically speaking, just assume there is only a single black label of this card right here, but there are still over hundreds of thousands of cards out there, most of which would, would also grade a black label but just haven't been sent into grading. Should this then be considered the rarest card? I don't think so, which is why I didn't look at any of the black labels or CGC Perfect Tens. This is just the normal cards in general. Now next up is, I do believe this is the oldest Mew card on this list right here, actually the first Mew card to ever be released. It's the Mew from the Kora Kora comic back from 1997, an unnumbered promo that just goes to show how old this card one is also considered or talked about as the Lilypad Mew. Now for this one in particular though, there are actually two different versions. There is a glossy version and a non-glossy version. Um, I did actually differentiate them right here in my Excel sheet. So there is 197 glossy ones and 234 non-glossy versions graded with PSA and then respectively with the other grading companies. With eBay I didn't differentiate them because it's just too hard to tell without looking at every single card. In total 499 copies and you would be very surprised. $30 for this one. For a card that is this old and essentially a piece of history, $30? Now one thing to note though, I think some people might be asking, what about this Shining Mew right here, unnumbered promo? Well, this is also from 2001, so it's also a very, very old card. It is a beautiful card, it's like one of my favorite Mews as well. But if we just look at PSA, just for the sake of new showing this, there are over 8,000 copies graded with PSA alone. So that just goes to show that this card, even though it is a cool card and kind of expensive honestly, isn't really rare at all. Next up right here we have a Battle Carnival 2013 promo right here. This is a participation prize, which is once again why it isn't ranked higher, it's just a participation prize. You didn't actually have to win the tournament to get this card. This one being ranked as of course rank 9 right here with 414 copies in total. And the cheapest price for I could f I could find for this one is a near mint raw copy was $140. So not too bad for a card that's also supposed to be pretty rare. Next up is this play promo Mew. Not the play promo that I recently purchased. This is the different one. This is number 13 play promo. I do believe this was around the same time as the Mew EX that I recently purchased. This one being a little bit more common than the Mew that I purchased. Ranked at number 8 right here and as you can see right here, a lot of copies already graded. Majority being graded with PSA, almost a thousand copies graded with PSA. Um, this one is also available surprisingly for pretty cheap considering this card is also really really old. Available for $170. Now next up is a card that I think most of you should be familiar with. It's the Mew Gold Star. For this rank right here, in rank 7, it's specifically the English print of this one, not the like World Tournament one because that is like not rare at all. Specifically the English normal print that you could pull out of, um, what was it, EX Dragon Frontiers. This one being ranked at number 7 and once again the numbers don't really make sense. There are over 2000 copies of this card in total that I could find. But the, the fact that makes it this rare and this high on the list is desirability. Desirability and price. Because even a cheap version is $800 for this one. And the gold stars are very, very popular, which is why it's ranked this high at number 7. 
Now at rank 6, I actually put the exact same cards, it's just different versions of this card right here. Let's start with this Japanese one right here, which is a Battle Road Summer 2006 qualification prize. And then moving it on to the to the English versions right here. So there are a few versions of this card actually. The Pop Series 5 booster pack right here, which is the non-holographic one, and I do believe there is a holographic versions that has the correct back like a normal card and there's also a a holographic version that has the back inverted um it sounds very difficult but this is basically what they rank as so the japanese one i do believe is the rarest out of the four versions and just under 200 copies right here then we have the Cosmo Holo Foil, like the holographic, with the normal back, like non-inverted, non-error card, at 400. Then the non-holographic versions, I did rank it lower because it's cheaper, even though there are less versions of it, because it's just not as desirable. I should have probably ranked it even below the error right here. This is the error card with the inverted back. Surprisingly, though, there are so many copies of this card graded. I was actually kind of surprised that an era card like this had that many copies graded. But there we go. Rank 6 for these, these four right here. Now we're getting into the top five. And this is a card that I actually recently purchased. The Mew EX number 007 from the Japanese Play Promotion set. A card that is very, very cool. I actually do really like this card. And I'm just saying that because I finally own it. The illustration is top notch. This one ranks at number 5, as previously mentioned. There are, in total, 633 copies that I could find, either being sold or on PSA. Um, currently priced for the cheapest one available is $1,200, which is actually a similar price to what I paid. I paid a little bit less, because believe it or not, a PSA 7 is actually cheaper than a raw version of this card. Which is why I'm actually considering cracking the case of mine and just put it in a binder. But even though there are only two non-graded versions on sale on eBay, there are also PSA graded cards and CGC graded cards of this card on, on eBay. So if you do want this card, maybe this would be a good time, which is why I pulled the trigger on this card. Because it only gets more expensive as soon as the in the like the raw cards are are gone, the only cards you can buy are graded cards, and they will carry a considerable premium, especially PSA 10 versions of this one. PSA 10 versions of this card are super expensive, like $4,000 or more. But yeah, this one ranks at number 5. Now next up at number 4 is a card that may seem all too familiar. It's the Mew Gold Star again. This time around though, in Japanese and specifically in a first edition. This one being ranked at number 4. As you can see right here, there aren't a whole lot of copies graded in this one in a first edition. The one that I have is actually an unlimited version, and even that is just a CGC 6.5. The cheapest version, once again in a near mint copy, I could find for first edition, is $1,200. So similarly priced to the Mew EX promo that I recently purchased, but I consider it rarer just because there are less numbers in circulation, and I do believe this is more desirable than the Mew EX. Even though I technically think this looks better, and I'm just saying that I do actually own both of these cards. But there we are, rank 3 for you. Now, at rank number 3 of the rarest Mew cards in existence is this Mew card right here. And this is actually a tournament promo, if you will, like compared to Yu-Gi-Oh! tournament promos. This one being the 20th anniversary Festa 2016 promo. This one is incredibly rare and incredibly expensive. Ranked at number 3, of course. With just 333 copies in total that I could find. Only one non-graded version available on eBay. Only four graded with CGC, most of them being graded with PSA. And the cheapest one that I could find on eBay, or just in general, was $2,500. But I think a card this rare and this thought after... I wouldn't really buy it raw, if, if that makes sense. I would only consider buying it graded already, and then the price shoots up by a huge margin. Like, this card is so expensive. Not as expensive as number 2 and number 1, mind you. Which is what we're going to move on next right here. Now, 
number two right here is this new EX, the 25th anniversary Creatures Corporate History Deck Special Print. That's a mouthful of a, of a name. But this one is actually really, really cool. It came, once again, in, in a deck like this. This deck right here, if the site would load, there we go. This deck right here was only given out to Creatures employees. And I think the estimate of decks out there is 250 to 400. So this is what I went with in terms of like um, ranking all the cards. This one being obviously very, very expensive and very thought after, which is why it only ranks at two, which is going to be number one. Um, cheapest one that I could find was $13,000 on this one. As you can see, also not a whole lot of these are graded with PSA or CGC, zero with BGS and zero non-graded versions um, on sale on eBay. Only 250 to 400. This, this we can actually save for sure because there aren't more than 400 out there, which is why this is rank two. But what is rank one? Well, rank one is this card right here. The Mew from the Pokemon Art Academy competition 2005. And why is this so rare, you might ask? Well, there's only 100 copies of this card. There's only 100 copies of this card, which is why it ranks above any other card right here. Surprisingly, one BGS card graded, okay. So 100 copies in total. 26 that we know exist in the, out of the world. There are still the other ones that are like non-accounted for. No one knows where they are. I have a strange feeling like if 25 of these cards made it to PSA and like made it onto the open market, I have the strange feeling that the person who illustrated it might have just sold all of them right away. So that it means even if, if you were able to track down the illustrator, FanP, they might not have any copies of this card anymore. They might have sold all of them. The cheapest one that I could find is $20,833. That might seem like an odd price. Um, that price was from a bundle. So let me just find the auction. So the price for the rank 1 Mew came actually from this auction right here. This is all 12 cards from the 2015 competition. And it's $250,000. But if you calculate the value of each individual card, which I would rank them equally, it would be $20,833. Mind you though, that... First off, it's only a PSA 9, and you would have to buy all of the other cards. I don't actually know how much a PSA 10 copy would, would sell for. It, it would be less than 250000 that's for sure. Um, Honestly, a PSA 10 version, if you put it on sale right now, I'd start at 100 k and see what happens. Maybe 100 k would even be way less for a card of this magnitude. Well, but there we go. This is officially the rarest Mew card in existence. And it's kind of sad because I will never own this card. Well, but I hope you did enjoy this video. And if you did, a like would be greatly appreciated. Other than that, right here to your right is a video that YouTube thinks is best suited for you. To the left is the subscribe button. Click the subscribe button first. Or check out any of the other videos in the description below. And I thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace, take care.